I've got a problem. And I'm hoping these trees will fix it. Welcome to Warp Legacy. You see a little spin of a thing, just spin of a thing in a way in the background? Yeah, they only put those where there's wind. And the fact that they're spinning means there's wind. You also see how this is pretty much just an open field. That means when the wind's coming this way, there's, there's nothing stopping it. And it just tears apart everything on the property. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a bunch of trees on that side of the property. But we're not just going to put any trees over there. We're going to put some black walnuts over there. Why black walnuts? I'm glad you asked. Because I have a black walnut tree and I have access to a bunch of them for free. That's the biggest reason, free. Now a lot of people will complain because black walnut trees can actually be really annoying. You see, they make walnuts and they fall everywhere. And this is essentially what they look like long term. These ones are just small because they fell off early. When they're mature, they're about that big around. So you don't want to park your car under a black walnut tree because you'll get dents in your car because these things will fall on your car. So where am I going to get all these trees to put on that edge? Well, let's have a look around. That's a walnut tree. 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 Those are walnut trees. Those are walnut trees. That's more walnut trees than grass. I think I have access to at least one or two walnut trees. So, all we're gonna do is find a tree or a small patch of trees that we wanna move. Isolate the trees a little. Rip off some of this grass so I can see. And come on one side with a shovel. And the other side with a shovel. Now, I've got a little plug. Pull out that one, pull it in that. I'm gonna go put this one in the hole where I took that out. Just like nothing happened. new tools got interrupted yesterday so I had to stop and uh, didn't get as many moves as I wanted to but borrowed my parents wheelbarrow so now I can do more than one and I have to walk back and forth every single time throw a few of them in here then bring them over there put a few of them in the ground and come back so far I've given you two reasons that I'm moving these things over here one I want a windbreak two they're free three these things are edible. This thing produces tons of these things and they're black walnuts. You can take off the husk, clean them up, crack them, and eat them. And if you find the right buyer, you can collect them and sell them. So this is potential income in the future.
Welcome back to the office. My office is a disaster because I've been doing stuff outside instead of in here. And it is ridiculously hot. So I apologize if you can hear this thing, but I don't care because I can't breathe in this room without it. Now total I think I moved about 20 of those trees and now I can find about 15 of them. A few of them just died. Some of them were eaten. I think a couple of them got mowed over, but I'm not positive. I'm not the one that I think did it, but whatever. I've also got one more reason that I'm moving all these black walnut trees out there. I told you I needed a windbreak. I told you I was doing it because they were free. I told you that they make walnuts which you can eat. What I haven't talked about is the value of the wood. If I treat these trees properly and keep cutting off the smaller branches so I have at least an eight foot section that doesn't have any branches or defects sticking out of it, when these trees get big, which won't be what, 20, 30, 40 years, whatever. If you treat them right and groom them right and have that nice straight section that doesn't have any defects, you can sell these trees for a ton of money. Individual trees bring in thousands of dollars. I think this, this number is probably a little high, but I've seen people saying the perfect tree bring, can bring in like 20 grand. But you gotta make sure your tree is in the right shape and the right quality so they can make veneer with it. So you need the veneer quality chunk of wood so they can spin it and shave off a really thin layer. So this is an investment in the near future. In just a few years, it will, they will grow enough to put out a windbreak. I have some over here that are just like two or three years old and they're as tall as me. And that'll do plenty for a windbreak down there. It is an investment in the more long-term future. Within five to 10 years, I will be collecting nuts and will be able to eat those and or sell them. I really don't know the timeline on that one. I just pulled five to ten years out of the air. That's quite a big range, but uh, at some point we'll be getting walnuts. And this is an investment in the more distant future. And I do plan on living long enough to see some of that investment pay off. Now, black walnuts are susceptible. Now, black walnuts are susceptible. Now, black walnuts are vulnerable to something called thousand canker disease. Now, thousand canker disease is not in Michigan, and they've been doing a pretty good job to keep it out of Michigan. But one thing you don't want to be doing is shipping these black walnuts all over the place, because that will just spread this thousand canker disease. Also, there are quarantines, and depending on where you are, it's just not legal. Another thing about the black walnuts is they put off this thing called juglone. I think that's how you say it. I'm not positive. But anyways, a lot of plants don't like it. So... You don't want the black walnuts close to your garden or um, some fruit trees, depending on what they are. They may like them, they may not. I'm making a bunch of pawpaw trees. They do okay close to the black walnuts. There's going to be a row of black walnuts, and then there's going to be a row of pawpaw trees. And that will help separate the black walnuts from everything else that's going to be in my yard. Because I'm planning on putting a lot of stuff in my yard. I'm doing what they call a food forest. Yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed learning how to make money by making a windbreak and making food at the same time. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you did, let me know in the comments what you appreciate about this video. And now, I have a very important message for a very important person. To my beautiful wife. Happy anniversary. It's hard to believe it's been eight years. Some of it's been easy, some of it's been hard. But I wouldn't trade any of it. I love you, beautiful. Happy anniversary. Thank you for visiting Warp Legacy. Until next time, I'm Tuan. Go to find your legacy. And this is... And this is... And this is... And this is an investment in the... We've passed a thousand subscribers!